Hey guys, Vicky Lemons here. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. I am so glad to have you here. So in this video, I just wanted to share things that have helped me gain about 40 more followers, 42 more followers in the last 28 days. And this is for smaller content creators, content creators that have millions of followers. It's so easy to gain more followers when you already have a following because people just do what the word entails, follow, right? But when you don't have as many people following you, it's really hard to gain a following. It's almost like they feel like if you don't have a following, then why should I follow? Instead of saying, let me follow them because their content, I like it. And then if someone else follows them later on, I already knew what people now know. Do you get what I'm saying? But anyway, that's the world that we live in. So this is for the smaller content creators. If you want to know what I have done, this is what I've done over the last 30 days that has changed the trajectory of my YouTube page. I'm going to give you the tips that have helped me, that I believe have helped me gain these 42 followers. And I know that's not a huge amount of people, but I was stuck around 50 subscribers for a while. And it was kind of getting discouraging. So I wanted to do this video to uh, to help out fellow beginner creators like myself. Um, I know I've had my YouTube page since like 2013, but I haven't really been focused on growing my channel in this way um, all that time. I started growing it about two years ago. However... I did get a little bit discouraged when my content wasn't being pushed out. But what I decided to do is focus more on growing my channel in the last couple of months. So this is what I this is what I've been doing. First thing I will tell you is that I did two 30 day challenges. One I'm still in the middle of. I'm on day 22 of that one. And the other one is completed. So the first challenge I did was my V Fit challenge. And that is Vicky's Faith Inspire Interval Training. Be fit with V fit. And the whole premise is mind, body, and soul to be fit totally and completely. And we know we can't be right here and here if physically we're not together, right? Because it's all one, right? And I'm not saying like you have to be in perfect shape to feel to feel that way. What I'm saying is when you feel good. It is it exudes from the inside out. It's something about when you feel good in your skin, you approach the world differently. You walk through the world differently. So that's what it's about, physical, mental, and spiritual health. So what I did was a 30-day challenge, and what I posted was my workouts in real time. So number one, what that did is it allowed me to get the external motivation that I needed. It also allowed me to appeal to people who were in this doing the same thing, maybe they just need some encouragement or some exercise ideas or to just see somebody who's curvy, not slim, doing the exercises to motivate them to do the exercises. But but most importantly, as far as growth to the channel, what it did was it made me consistent in my posting, which is very important. Um, you hear that all the time. People say, be consistent, be consistent. Well, what does that mean? For me, it was the 30-day challenge. That 30-day challenge... Forces, forces me, it forced me to post every day. So as well as I'm doing a 30 day gratitude challenge for the month of November. As I said, I'm on day 22 of that one. And that is something that um, forces me to post every day. So being consistent is 100% uh, one of my tips that has, I believe, helped me become uh, more noticeable on YouTube and to help my channel grow. Also, moving into that, the next thing I did, my VFit videos, I created a playlist and those videos are longer. But for my gratitude posts, those posts I did only to my shorts. And that's the next tip. Utilize shorts. Unfortunately, the attention span of many, many of us nowadays is very small, unless you're kind of like, you know, me, where I, I like to listen to audio and listen to people talk and stuff. So um, I don't mind taking my time to listen, but I understand that nowadays the attention span is just not what it used to be. Okay, so we're going to deal with that in our shorts, right? So my, so my gratitude posts, I only post them in my shorts. And 
the amount of people that I reach from my shorts have increased my YouTube channel uh, subscribers. So definitely post your content in your shorts. You know, even if you have a longer video, chop it up and put it in your shorts. I guarantee you that will help drive traffic to your page. You get the traffic to your page. Then what, right? People want authenticity. People, people want authenticity. And the people who are for you will be for you. So if you're posting content that's not really true to you, then they're getting a false sense of who you really are. My content is me. If you met me in real life, this is who I am. Those who know me that are subscribed to my page, no, this is who I am. It is what it is. No sugar coating it. It is what it is. And what I post is what's in my spirit. It's what's in my heart. It's a reflection of me. So I would suggest being authentic. Be your most authentic self so that when your subscribers are subscribing to you, they know like this is something that I'm going to get from this person's page. Be authentic. And number four, I personally left Facebook and I left Instagram. Here's why. I felt as though with Facebook more, more than Instagram because I wasn't really a big poster on Instagram. It just wasn't my thing. But with Facebook, for the most part, if I could do things over again, I would have never even done a Facebook. I would have only posted on YouTube. And because on Facebook, you're giving people your content for free. Think about all the years that you've been posting on Facebook or Instagram. That's free content. You've been giving them your content for free. And this page could have been monetized years ago had I just been posting to my YouTube. But I didn't think about that then. So I cut out my, I deactivated my Facebook and I deactivated my Instagram, which keeps people from being able to look at my stuff without me getting any views. So now if they want to see what I'm doing or what's going on with me, they have to come to my YouTube page. I also have a TikTok and I'll talk to you about that and why I still have my TikTok. But I cut out my Facebook and I turned off my Instagram because I want my people to Find me on my YouTube so I can get the views, so I can get credit, so I can monetize my channel, so that I can get um, rewarded for my content and not just giving it away for free. And I do believe, because what happens is on Facebook, people watch your stuff, but they never like it. If they watch your stuff on YouTube, doesn't matter if they don't like it, you're getting counted for the points anyway. So you're getting counted for the watch time anyway. So at least you, you're getting that. We're on the other apps. You're not even getting that. So that's why I just deactivated those. They don't serve me anymore. You know, I know that's a big step for some deactivating their Facebook and their Instagram. But if you're in, now this is also, remember, this is for my smaller channels because here's what I felt like. I felt like I was too accessible. And if you're too accessible, then if, I, if they can find me here, 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 and here, well, I mean, I don't want that. I want to be searched for, found, and to get credit for them watching my content. That's what I want. So I don't want to give it away for free anymore. So that's what I decided to do. And I believe those people that used to watch me without giving me any credit, I believe they are watching me now, which is increasing my watch time which allows me to get pushed out through YouTube more, which then allows me to gain more followers or subscribers. That's what I believe. So number one, consistency, do some sort of challenge. Here's the thing too with the consistency. People like to see people doing things that they want to do. A lot of people want to be consistent in things and they just don't have the muscle built yet. So seeing you do something for 30 days consistently shows them, I can do something for 30 days too. And it makes them, they're encouraged. And so now they want to be a part of your, your world, your, your, you know, your channel. So the consistency serves most multiple pur um, purposes. So that's number one, consistency. Number two, your shorts. You're going to utilize your shorts. Whatever you post into your main videos, cut them up, cut up a couple pieces of them and put them into your shorts, right? Number two, 
Number three, you're going to be authentic. You are going to be yourself. You are not going to pretend. You are going to be your authentic self. That's it. Be you. Number four, figure out how you can narrow down being so accessible to drive people to your channel so that your numbers rise so that YouTube pushes out your content more. And last, but definitely not least, and this is and this is why number three is so important, you being authentic. Repurpose your content. So remember when I said I was gonna come back to the whole TikTok thing? What I've been doing is using my phone, recording my videos from my desktop, and then posting them on my TikTok. This has gained me more subscribers because I believe in my content. Even if it only got five views two years ago, if that message was important to me, enough for me to record it, then I believe it's important enough to help somebody. So I record it with my cell phone from my desktop and then I repost it to TikTok as a quick clip. A min I do a minute or two or maybe two or three minutes of some content and say, see the full video on my YouTube page. Links in the description or links in my bio. That's what I do. And <clears throat> I believe that has been helpful in me gaining the 42 followers in the last 28 days. I always leave them with like a cliffhanger. Like, you know, right when it's getting good, stop it. You know, give them, give them, something, give them something to feel full as far as in the message. But now they want more. What else does she have? What other content does she have? Go to my YouTube channel and you'll find it. That's what I do. I'm dragging everyone there. And the reason I kept TikTok is because it's kind of one of the hottest places to be right now. And it's an easy way to post videos that have the potential to get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of views. So that's why I do that. So let's recap. Number one, we're going to get consistent. Number two, we're going to do our YouTube shorts. Number three, we're going to be authentic. Number four, we're not going to be as accessible. How can we hone in being so accessible? Number five, you're going to repurpose your content. Especially now, if you're doing like goofy things and your content is just like, then you're not probably, you're not going to probably have content to repurpose. But if you really believe in what you're posting and if you really believe in your content, repost it, clip it out, make clips. Take a middle part out, put it on your another page and say, go to my YouTube channel to see the full video. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I believe that works. Remember, this is for my smaller content creators. I'm in this fight right along with you. And as I continue to learn things that are helping me grow, I will continue to make videos like this for you. If you have any tips, put them in the comments below. I would love to hear them. And as always, I thank you for watching. And God bless.